Isang mapapalang araw sa ating lahat and welcome to St. Paul Hospital, Cavite. I am Sister Mercy Corazon G. Bangot, SPC. I am 52 years old and 28 years in religious life. I am very happy and grateful for this gift of consecration through the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Paul of Chart or known as the SPC Congregation. I have been to various SPC schools before but a few years ago, I was shifted to the healthcare ministry, and this is my fifth year. Currently, I am assigned here at St. Paul Hospital, Cavite. So join me as we go through the life and mission of the SPC Sisters right here at St. Paul Hospital, Cavite. Tara na! Our soul magnifies the Lord as he hears the cry of his people. He has looked with favor upon us and blessed us to share his very life and love here in St. Paul Hospital, Cavite, to deliver his people from their maladies with his saving and healing action through the Sisters of St. Paul of Chart Healthcare Ministry. St. Paul Hospital, Cavite started out as a medical research center formerly known as the Jose Rizal Medical Research Center. It has served as the nucleus and national headquarters for community medical research, preventive medicine, and sanitation projects in line with the Medicare program of the national government demonstrating the latest medical techniques and services among the needy in the country. In 1994, the administration of the institution was entrusted to the Sisters of St. Paul of Chart. Together with our lay partners and collaborators, we served as on-call sister nurses, administrative staff, and pastoral workers to our brothers and sisters who come to us seeking for medical care and assistance, and to which we gave the best of who we are and what we can do. In 2007, the foundation that established the hospital ceased its operation and we took over the ownership and administration of Jose Perizal Medical Research Center Hospital under the new name, St. Paul Hospital Cavite. Our mission life in the hospital entails a lot of trusting and entrusting. This is why we wake up early to start the day with lauds or morning prayer, followed by the celebration of the Holy Mass in which we unite ourselves to God in Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit, believing that with Him, anything is possible. The collaborative work in the ministry where fullness of life is given and taken allows us to grow in our knowledge and love of God. It accords us with opportunities to see God in all things in and through our daily interaction with one another as a community, with the doctors and personnel in our shared mission and in the faces of brokenness and pain among our own patients and their families. The unexpected onslaught of pandemic startled us all. We were caught off guard and we found ourselves like the people of old, groping in the darkness, trying to respond to the challenges posted by this pandemic and how to go about the daily operation of the hospital, ensuring that we continue to provide quality health care amidst the threat of this health crisis. A lot of things happened since March of 2020 that brought about so many changes in our ministry. Some important activities have to take on a new phase like that of our regular feeding program which we needed to divert to Hapag ni San Pablo as our community pantry initiative. Some institutional celebrations were celebrated through sharing of goods to neighboring families in need. Other activities also gave way to intensified praying of the rosary, 
training for lectors and commentators, and deepening a personal connection and interaction with one another. The patient visitation and interaction with family members or watchers continued, but with strict observance of health protocols. Indeed, so much has happened. We have seen death in its many facets. We saw the anguish and pain it has brought to people who have lost their loved ones. We saw the many faces of poverty and misery brought about by this pandemic. We saw the desperation of a lot of people trying to survive this phenomenon, and the battle continues. Yet, we remain hopeful because in all these things that happened, we experience the emergence of life, solidarity, unity, compassion, and the gift of faith, hope, and love in its most tangible form and beauty. Being faced with the realities of life and death in the daily operation of the hospital is both a blessing and a challenge. Nevertheless, it continues to shape us and help us grow in our relationship of love and service of God and our brothers and sisters. In our experiences of joys, blessings, challenges, fears, and uncertainties, our life of faith hope and love becomes alive and real as we are led to grow in piety, perseverance, and fidelity to God and the mission He has entrusted to us. In all of this, our congregation is always there, providing us with the necessary direction and help to let us remain focused on God and His concerns. The battle is not yet over, but we keep our peace in God. God has been so good to us. He has gifted us with so much faith, hope, and love that we cannot help but give. Hence, we will continue to give ourselves in love and service of Him and our brothers and sisters. We will step out in faith each day believing that His grace abounds all the more at this time. We will continue to seek inspiration from Him who promised to be with us always. Nothing can stop us now, for with our patron St. Paul we profess, in life and in death, we are the Lord's. Caritas Christi, Urgent Moss.